Welcome back to Artsenu, where we tour and travel in our homeland in Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome you aboard this El Al flight. On behalf of El Al, the captain and the crew, we wish you all a pleasant flight. El Al, it's not just an airline, it's Israel. Well, we made it to Israel, and all I can think about is what hints I might have to work with. And the only thing I can keep thinking of is that magic trick that I saw on the plane, that seven of hearts. And I keep thinking about the number seven, and what is seven in Israel? And I finally figured it out. I'm here at the airport, and I'm going to be getting out of here and going to Be'er Sheba. The city of seven wells. Let's go! Be'er Sheva is a very interesting place. You know, I think about the boxes part of Be'er Sheva. I thought about, like, old trains. Trains are like boxes. And I found that there is a museum here in Be'er Sheva. This museum honors the train that was built here in 1915 by the Ottoman Turks to run from here all the way to the Sinai Desert. And it ran from 1915 to 1927, and then it stopped. And here we are in front of this little old train, and the one little train house, this is the museum of the trains of Be'er Sheva. And you know what? It wasn't really very helpful, because I found nothing else. in Be'er Sheva is the name itself. Where did the name Be'er Sheva come from? Be'er Sheva is the name of the seven wells that Avraham dug when the Pelishtim were here and when he was here there was tough times and Avraham dug these seven wells and after Avraham passed away they got filled in and Yitzchak redug the same seven wells, and you know what, my friends? He named them the same thing that his father named them. And when I think about Be'er Sheva, I think about the mitzvah of Kibbut Ava Ve'em, thinking about the things we do extra to honor our parents. Yitzchak named the wells the same thing that his father named the wells, out of respect. This is said to be one of the She'eva Be'erot, that Avraham dug, and the Yitzchak re-dug. And as we go down the steps here, sorry sir, we're going to have a chance to see inside of the well, which still has water today, so many thousands of years later. Always amazed when things that we learn in Chumash come to life here in Artsenu in Eretz Yisrael. While I'm standing here at the Be'er of Avraham, I feel no closer to finding a box. And the number seven hasn't necessarily been so helpful. But what about the hearts? What does the heart have to do with it? You know, the Mishnah tells us that when we daven, we should face our hearts toward Yerushalayim. We all face the entire world when we daven. We face to Yerushalayim. What does the number seven 
and Yerushalayim have to do with each other? Maybe. Maybe there's something else that has the number seven that connects us to Yerushalayim. Help me out. What do you think? What else is seven and Yerushalayim? See you next time on Artsenu, where we tour and travel through our homeland, through Eretz Yisrael. Shalom.